Hey, what's going on DDO players? Axel here. So today I want to talk again about update 49. Update 49 has seen several different previews on Lamania and I've done two prior videos on it. So we've seen a lot of things change from each preview, new things being introduced, changes to mechanics. If you didn't see the past two videos, I'll give you just a short, super, super short summary. The first one was basically, first video was focused on bow changes, bow buffs. They want to buff range combat with this upcoming update 49. The second video I did was primarily focused on a mechanic change, which is being done in an effort to reduce lag. So when it comes to multi hits on things such as double strike, essentially what's going to happen is say you're a melee character and you normally do a thousand points of damage. And so on a double strike, you would do 2000 because that would be two 1000 damage hits it's now being changed to work basically like one attack only so now instead of on a double strike instead of the game calculating two 1000 damage hits it's just going to do one 2000 damage hit so that's a big change just to reduce the number basically the effort there is to reduce the number of calculations that the game is on uh, it's having to to calculate and hopefully that reduces lag that's the hope so with that said, there's one thing that I should have mentioned in my last video that I didn't, and you all rightfully brought this up. So I want to go over that now. So here's a comment, the most upvoted comment, really a few of you left comments like this. So Jinx said, surprised you didn't mention it, but this is also going to have a huge negative impact on the procs that happen off of successful hits, such as paralyzing banishments, vulnerabilities, focuses, vorpals, smites, trips, sunders, etc. So yes. This is a very good point that I just forgot to bring up in the video. I should have mentioned it. I just forgot to. But essentially, and this is one of the biggest things being talked about right now for update 49, which is coming, is that certain builds, so say if you're like a ranged user and you're focused on paralyzing, for example, this is going to be a nerf to you. This mechanic change to reduce lag is going to result in a nerf just because when you're getting less attacks, that means you have less, less chances to proc your... You know, you're paralyzing whatever the on hit non damage effect might be so that's a really good point and i want wanted to bring this up not just to correct myself but to go over kind of a developer post here so as you can see here's a post from, from one of the developers on lamania and they're aware that this change is going to nerf these non damage procs and but he, let me just read the quote and this is what the developer had to say so uh, the developer said, we understand that this change will carry a side effect of reducing the effectiveness of non-damage procs across the board. However, we believe that the overall benefits of this pass will outweigh these side effects and will keep an eye on non-damage procs in the near future to ensure that this does not have adverse effects on the player experience. So they are very aware that this is going to result in a nerf and they seem to be okay with it. Um, bows are, they are trying to get a really good buff to bow users right now specifically so for whatever reason either they're okay with the nerf and just don't see a way they can kind of fix it right now or or add that power back without causing more lag because some people brought up the the idea of say hey okay let's say if the proc change to six percent that's just up to twelve percent and the developers have said no 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 to that because they that would be kind of going against what they're trying to do here which is reduce the number of calculations the game is having to make they don't want they don't want to basically undo their work that they're trying to do to combat lag and add more calculations back into the game. So they don't really know of a way right now they can kind of add that back. So who knows? It seems like they're either not aware of a better way to to buff them or, or, or a way to, that they can feasibly buff them without reducing lag, or they just think that these types of builds uh, are, will be balanced with this change, even though it is a nerf. So whichever it is, that's it is what it is. Uh, you know, if you are on a non-damage proc focused bow build for example like a paralyzing build or something be aware of this that you will see a reduce uh, reduction in your effectiveness but you have to take a um, also take into account that if you're a bow user you're going to see a buff after this pass i mean they are buffing bows so even if there is a nerf they're, they're, they're trying to make bows more powerful that's the goal i mean maybe some people i've seen some mixed opinions on how much of a buff the pass really is for bows but their end goal anyways is to buff bows so if it's for whatever reason not doing that even though it seems like to me just reading it certainly is but if it isn't they're they're gonna buff bows they are buffing bows so just keep that in mind and uh the damage should be better on your bows just just keep that in mind this update is probably going to hit next week so it will come to the game very soon along with the new adventure pack which i'm looking forward to
Okay, let's continue on now. Uh, another comment that I saw, not just here, but also in, in the threads on Lamania a lot, was people just saying that uh, people that, weren't, that were upset about this change to combat lag, uh, this reduction in the number of attacks that are ongoing, the number of attacks that the game is having to calculate, something a lot of people have said is, why not just get better hardware? Um, people complaining that, okay, you're punishing the players here by changing this mechanic. It's kind of a band-aid instead of addressing lag by just basically improving your hardware. That's what some people have said. So, for example, here's a comment you know, on the video. Why not just get better hardware? They didn't have lag and wow. We'll do away with certain things. So this is what the developers had to say to that assertion is that to be completely clear, the kinds of problems we're trying to solve on the design end are not problems that can be solved by new hardware. We have a robust data center with all the completely normal industry standard bells and whistles to monitor and observe the metrics of both our servers and our virtual servers, et cetera, et cetera. So basically the developer here is saying to that comment that, okay, why don't you just get better servers to, uh, basically better servers to combat lag the responses, that's not gonna do it. And you know, DDO has been around a long time. There's a lot of code built on top of code, on top of code reserved to sometimes a spaghetti code which is probably the source of a lot of the lag here. Probably not, uh, probably not the actual power of the servers if you're, to be, if you're to believe the developers here. Obviously, some players are gonna read this and not believe them, but that's at least, I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to communicate to you that this is at least what the developers are claiming is that more powerful servers won't necessarily address the issue. So. Up to you whether you wanna believe the developers are not there, but that's what they're saying. Next, let's move now on to the third preview and some changes that are hitting, uh, they're going to hit the game in this update. They did add some significant changes in this third preview. Now, I'm not gonna go over all the changes. There will be a link below in the description. You guys know how I like to do my videos. I like to keep them as short as possible and to the point. So what I'm gonna talk about is basically the major changes that everyone is talking about. But if you wanna see the full list of changes for update, uh, for, the, for the third preview, I will link that below in the description. But here are the two changes, really, I guess four changes technically, uh, that everyone is talking about. So Adrenaline, this is changes to Fury of the Wild, Epic Destiny. So Adrenaline's damage multiplier has been reduced from 300, 300, 300, 400 percent to 150, 150, 150, 200 percent. So what that is, is as you, th these are the damage um, modifiers to your your damage on your adrenaline charges these are included in each of the cores in fury of the wild so if you have the tree maxed out you're going to be at 400 percent as it is currently on live the 300 percent are, are where, you, where you're at before you get to the kind of uh, round out your tree and actually fill out the tree but in any case if you're say have a max tree uh, and you're on live right now the adrenaline damage percent boost is 400 percent so this is being basically halved down to 200%, although it's not actually halved, and we'll get that down to that in a minute, and we'll, but we'll get into that in just a second. This isn't necessarily a nerf, so just hold on to that thought. I'm gonna go over the, the other two effects here first. A Fury Eternals 33% chance to regain an adrenaline charge on Vorpal has been increased to 100%, so that's obviously a buff. So Fury Eternal is what allows you to regain some of your adrenaline charges. So you're gonna basically regain your adrenaline a lot faster now. A Hunt's End, which is in uh, on top of the uh, Sharati Champion tree. This is a basically a single shot active attack. The damage multiplier on this has been reduced from 400% to 300%, but the cooldown has been reduced from 24 seconds to 18 seconds. So. Uh, it, it's kind of a give and a take there. It's doing less damage, but the cooldown's reduced as well. And you have to have, also have to take into account all the buffs that ranged, ranged users are getting, bow users are getting. So if you're a bow user, you have to take that into account as well. So you can't really look at this, just this one ability in a vacuum. You also have to take into account that yes, this ability is being reduced a little bit in terms of power, but the cooldown is being reduced as well. And we're getting all these other bow buffs on top of that. Uh, part of this pass so it's just something they wanted to modify a little bit so your damage spikes not be will not be as high with hunts end but you'll be able to use it more often okay so with that said now that i've gotten through all these four let's go back to adrenaline and talk about the changes here okay so this is my understanding of the changes and how it's going to impact players 
if I'm off on any of this, because I'll be honest, a lot of the, the, the math is pretty involved with, not, not specifically this change, but a lot of the changes in this pass have a lot of involved math. So if I'm missing something, you all please correct me in the comments below. But as I understand it currently, this is how it's going to work. So the adrenaline, adrenaline was basically cut down at cap from 400% to 200%, the damage uh, modifier there. So this is how it's going to work. Now, um, let's just compare the old to the new. So currently on live, you have 100 base damage from your adrenaline, plus you get 400%, uh, well, 100% base damage, plus you get your 400% from adrenaline, which will give you a 500% damage bonus. So this is being changed now to now work like this. So you're now gonna have 100% base damage bonus plus your 200% you're getting from your adrenaline. This is assuming you've got your tree fully filled out, which is now gonna bring you to a 300% damage bonus, but you have to keep into account, take into account the changes that are being made to multi-hit effects. As I discussed last video, as I discussed at the beginning of this video. So if you have 100% double strike, this is actually going to be a buff because you're going to multiply that 300% bonus you're getting by two, to give you a 600% damage bonus on an adrenaline charge because again, you have to take into account that these changes to multi-hit effects are basically reducing your attacks, making your attacks like twice as powerful basically. So you're you're going to see probably, assuming you have 100% double strike, you're, it looks like you're gonna see a buff. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is my understanding of it right now. You're gonna see a solid buff if you have a, um, 100% double strike. Now, if you don't have 100% double strike, feel less than that. It's if you have like a 0% double strike, for example, it's definitely going to be a solid nerf. So what this change is really doing, as I understand it, is it makes having 100% double strikes uh, a lot more important for Fury users because of the modifications to uh, combine your attacks that were multi-hit effects into one single attack. So you have to kind of tie all these different changes together, but they definitely wanted to change the way adrenaline worked because it would have, think, looking back, it would have been ridiculous how much damage you would have done on adrenaline if they didn't dial this back a little bit, considering you would have had what? if Currently on live, if they would have come, um, not modified this, you would have had a essentially a 1,000% uh, damage bonus because you would have had a 100% base plus 400% as it is currently on live to a 500% damage bonus, which would have been, again, multiplied by two because of the way on a 100% on double strike build because of the way that multi effects are being uh, um, kind of combined into a single strike now uh, to reduce lag. So yeah, I, I know this is confusing and it certainly is confusing and I hope I, ha I have a correct understanding of it right now, but this is just my understanding is that if you just the thing to take away in summary is that if you're running in fury of the wild you want it's going to be more important that you have 100 percent double strike on your end game build and if you do you should see a buff if not if you have less than 100 percent double strike you may see not much change if you have like 90 or 80 I, I don't know the exact math on those i didn't bother to do that but if you're, you have lower double strike values you're probably going to see a nerf from this so it's definitely going to be more important that you get your double strike up to 100% if you're running in Fury. So just keep that in mind. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any other comments, if you want to correct me on anything, please feel free to do so below. It looks like Update 49 from Developer Comments, as I mentioned earlier, is going to be released. should be released next week. So that's something to look forward to. We got a new adventure pack with some new quests to run. And I will be planning to do a... I'm planning on doing a review video for those quests, as I always do. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoy the content on this channel, I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. That'll be it for today. See you all next time. Have a good one.